great rising to my king queen goddess and goddesses it is your boy Terra with one star gotta bring it down to all my beautiful virgo sun will rise in north node in venus or wherever it is at in your chart hey if you so happy to stroll by and you see me on here hey come on you come in step in for a minute I'm gonna get this message the spirit trying to give you okay now with that basically being said let's go ahead and get into it i want to say shout out to all my a1 day one to all my new subs welcome to the family now uh for the ones that's coming in and welcome for for the sitting and listening for the little moment just to get any information that you can now, the title of this one is Don't Let This Unfaithful Person Stress You All The Way Out, Virgo, okay? Do not let this unfaithful person stress you all the way out. Now, side note. Now, this is a Virgo reading. However, if the Earth signs are in here, Capricorn and Taurus, this can be resonating with you as well, okay? Now, we did start doing something different. This week, I just want to do an experiment and do the elemental. So, what I'm going to do, but I'm going to put a flip to it. Even though Virgo is going to say elementals, this could be person that you're dealing with if you're cross-watching, okay? So, take the roles, how they go, flip it, twist it, reverse it, do whatever you got to do. But with that basically being said, but let's just stick with us right now, so, okay? Now, Virgo, I'm going to be honest with you, okay, Virgo? There's an energy that has been causing you to go through a whole lot of stress, a whole lot of turmoil, a whole lot of inner work, a whole lot of shadow work. This energy that you are dealing with uh, puts you in so many situ stressful situations. You are stressful. So, ah, it's starting to put you in so many situations for so long that you are starting to lean towards a more positive outlook. Other words, it's like it just, the, the problems, the stress done beat you down. The concerns done beat you down. Finances done beat you down. Love done beat you down. Friends done beat you down. Jobs done beat you down. It got to the point where it had to humble you, Virgo, to get to the point where you needed to be in today, okay? Now, Virgo, this energy that you may be around or this energy that's interfering into your, uh, into your bubble uh, has caused a lot lot of people to become emotionally detached including you probably from yourself and probably uh having been some type of blockages with spirit as well now virgo this energy that's around you is very conniving but yet very charmful they know how to emotionally control you, Virgo, uh, like a Jezebel. That's the best way to say it. It don't have to be sexual, but I'm saying the control and the control tactics. They are very intelligent to know what they say. Boss lover, friend, to get inside, how the best way to say it, they take emotional control to try to get inside your mind so they can manipulate you like a puppet, okay, now, but you starting to see the true side of this, some of you are starting to unveil or have unveiled the real side of this person where you can see through things very transparent, now, yes, was this uh, something, was a struggle, yes, but you dominated over the outcome and now you are starting to realize your top five senses have enhanced to a point where it needed to be, some of you may have went through this so long, you starting to be a, a master teacher where you can teach other people about this as well now I feel like some of you have put all the circles and all the dots like cross the T's and dot the I's about this certain individual that you're dealing with and you know who it is but I feel like right now you still being on a spiritual journey where you being more prosperous and abundant and grounding dealing with these type of individuals around yes I feel like the person that you're dealing with versus Virgo whoever this un uh, unworthy person is yes they've been doing a lot of lying Yes, they have been wearing a false mask. They've been very deceptive. And they, yes, they have betrayed you. They may have been getting close to you. And while they trying to get back in your good graces, Virgo, they probably still texting somebody behind your back. Now, it is a third party situation that could be in, in contest with this. However, you are starting to understand to accept the knowledge that you have learned in order to stop dealing with this. You understand everything that's going on in your life, Virgo. And what you're doing now, you are starting to trust into the universe and trust into the uh getting a rid of getting away from this negative energy now virgo i do want to tell you new opportunities that you are manifesting are coming in don't be challenged by the frustration that you're going through right now but continue to stay in your own control continue to have that power to stay true to yourself and stay true to what you emotionally feel instead of the same old tactics that you normally go through when you run away from going through the same type of cycle okay now virgo don't hesitate to do what is truly right 
fight for you, okay? Spirit want me to tell you right now, somebody may be trying to trying to have control over you spiritually where you got to find a precise time to go through the healing work, to go through uh, the, the, the peace within. Or some of you probably already found this peace within, but you are starting to learn that this journey that you are taking, yes, it's coming with new offers, but the people around you is unreliable. You've been manifesting into a new way of life, a new way of action. However, you are being startled about taking that starting point because so many people been around you, you feel like everybody's filled with deception, betrayal, lies, and all of this, ver vice versa, per se, per se. So with that basically being said for the preload, let's finish it out. Uh, we already finished it out. All right, now, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and get into spirit uh, meditation. Spirit guys in the universe, we thank you right now for Virgo coming to you, a cross watcher. Lead us, guide us, give us the blueprint and the understanding towards our highest good and highest expectations. Now, if anybody wish any ill will, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, what we're going to do today, we're going to work on that, and we're going to give that energy back to the universe in abundance of love so it can be reciprocated back to us, okay? Ashe, Ashe, Amen. What we're going to work on today is determination, okay? Virgo, this helps you with spiritual discipline, transformation, and the willpower to keep going, okay? Now, um, this helps you with digestion uh, and assimilation of nutrients. You know, support your kidneys and your adrenal glands. And it also deter uh, cultivates determination and commitment with releasing self-limiting beliefs, okay? Now, with each hand, curl the finger inward, inward pads. Uh, let me say this correctly. Forgive me, Virgo. We are getting tongue twisted today. Now, with each hand, curl the fingers inward, bringing the pads of the fingers toward the palms, thumbs on the outside. Bring the heels of the hands together to join the second joints of the fingers. Extend the two thumbs and bring together whole hands lightly against your abdomen or your stomach area, okay? Now, this is what we're going to uh, relax the shoulders down the length of your spine. We're going to focus on my sense of positive determination arises from within. My sense of positive determination arises from within, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now, hold it, Virgo. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not suitable for you, we letting it go. Very good. Breathe in. Positive energy. Positive light. Full abundance to your highest good and understanding. Now hold it. And release out all the negativity, all the stress, all the worries, all the doubts, all the concerns. Anything that's not for you, Virgo, we truly letting it go back to the universe, okay? Last time, breathe in. My sense of positive determination arises from within. My sense of positive determination arises from within. Hold it. And release. My sense of positive determination arises from within. My sense of positive determination arises from within within. Okay, Virgo? I say, I say, I man, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Uh, help the channel grow and that let's let's extend this family to positive growth, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reading. Let me go ahead and take these cards back for a minute. Go ahead and get a little brief shuffle. But Virgo, I feel like right now, this unfaithful person, yes, they've been trying to win at all costs. Yes, I feel like this been either going for five days, five months, five years. Take it as it resonate. Now, I also feel like right now, five do represent change. So I feel like you can understand the lesson at hand so spirit had to intervene and bring these changes towards you okay now i feel like some of you when it's dealing with a lover yes do you care about this person yes you do do you know what's going on half the time more likely 90 percent of you do know the truth about what's going on it's some type of clarity that's going to come in to give you the true understanding of how this person really operate okay now it could be some type of evidence that you could see it could be a text it could be a, 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 a item it can be something that's very very significant to you where you know if uh, if a person is not doing the right things for you in your life, okay, Virgo? Now, I feel like some of my men, be careful because you are dealing with a Jezebel spirit, okay? So what that basically means, now we're going to talk about it. I feel like the sexual acts and desires, yes, they probably think you have the best sex. However, you're not completing all the tasks with them. Now, I also feel like for some of you, if you don't went through some type of separation, I feel like this person that went through a separation that you was with, I feel like right now their, uh, their coping mechanism was sexual acts with a third party situation. I feel like right now, uh, could it be spell work? Yes, it could be spell work dealing with the words of mouth, the play, communication. Okay, Virgo. Now, I also feel like what it done to you, it kept you trapped in a situation in a reoccurring past cycle that has hurt you before. I feel like some of y'all got to the realization to understand and now you are letting go of anything. Like, I feel like once some of y'all get the clarity that you need, you will pull back. I feel like some of y'all have retracted yourself from a person or you have 
sit back and move yourself away from some type of scenario, okay? Now, I also feel like, Virgo, let's go ahead. I feel like you are being more strong into your soul. I feel like you are starting to choose on a major decision that's going towards your happiness from the bad seeds that you have sown with a person and also from the disharmony and the flow that you have from another person as well. Now, I also feel like right now, yes, it's a new love offer coming in. It could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries that's coming into play or it may be a new love offer away from the home, okay? Now, now, also, I feel like what you are deciding on, Virgo, you're deciding on if you still want to deal with this person. I feel like the attraction or the chemistry that y'all once both had has became cold, and I feel like the fears of you knowing that has, from the bad seeds that you feel like you have went through since winter has created some type of rebirth, some type of healing with you right now. Even though things are not flowing, I feel like you may be closed off in resistance uh, towards people with the chemistry, with the passion that you once had. Now, I also feel like uh, the truth proof with this family situation is strengthening you out and I feel like with the truth you are no longer longing for a situation or you are no longer want to uh, be in a separation with somebody I feel like this is the other party now I feel like due to limitations and fears has created a transformation within the two of you but faith or divine intervention is not being met so I feel like Virgo for you you may be deciding like hey I know this person is not trying to learn and meet their needs I know I was hoping on them to change, but this is not working out for me. The healing that I'm going to, I want forgiveness within myself, but I'm not going for temptation, but the other partner may have. Now, you want to be in harmony and flow, but since it's cut off, it has blocked you uh, from your compassions and with your lack of doubts when it comes to you being spiritually right. Now, I feel like right now, somebody's not understanding about the balance, about the justice, but I feel like all the facades that you have seen within this person or something that you once believed in is no longer there. I feel Feel like majority of you have no longer wanted to open your hand out with gifts of abundance with this person however i feel like you are being more vulnerable sit down you are being more vulnerable and guarded and you are being very stern and, and structured about the way that you move. Yes, I feel like right now this uh, you not working on self-love like you want to right now because your attentions are somewhere else. I feel like right now you are going through the contracts and the commitments that you have went through that have not came to fruition and it created this union of the soul tie to be out of contract or in expiration. You could again didn't be with a Leo Sagittarius Aries, but it's a new starting point that's coming into your life, but you got to project it into the positive way, okay? Like you have mended yourself from a broken heart. Yes, you didn't see the you didn't see the breakthrough that you needed dealing with this self love with this person or somebody ego was in the way where they can't break through and see the real side of the matter was going on with you, Virgo. Now I also feel like all this past suffering that you went through, you have finally completed the cycles when it came to things that you know was bad for you. Like even with the harmony, I feel like you knew you had you was clinging on to something for too long, and now you feel this guilt and sabotage. But because the way how things was going is showing no growth when it comes to uh, with this twin flame. It's not no longer showing any type of wish fulfillment that you desire because all that clinging, the hot and cold, you no longer want to be attached to this person. So I feel like you detached yourself and you moved in action. You was courageous to try to start a new beginning with yourself. And as you were doing this, this person really was spying on you, Virgo. Now, you avoided this person. You said you accepted for what it is. It's not growing, but it did create a lot of emotional suppression, okay? Now, I feel like you are more compassionate and nurturing to go to something that you love instead of being controlled by another individual. And this can be sexually. This can be with finances. This can be with, uh, with uh, love tactics. But I feel like you are starting to show the universe gratitude for the lessons that you have learned in your life dealing with somebody who didn't want to create a solid foundation. Now, I feel like you don't want to do a renewal or a spark because somebody's not caring for themselves the way that you care for yourself. All the past memories and all the nostalgia that you done been in, it, it stopped the communication because you have went through reoccurring cycles over and over and over that created a lot of frustration. And some of y'all, this can be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. However, I feel like now you're starting to know your purpose. I feel like once uh, once you start learning how to release your emotions in the right way instead of a, in, in a way I feel like you will start understanding more about your self worth I feel like the expectations that you had going on in your life it, it, it was more of a codependent isolation or a codependent expectation more than anything else I feel like you had to go in solitude to get your thoughts together but spirit woman to tell you with divine timing all the toxicity all the patterns that had you trapped in and bound all the it, it created you to have a lack of 
of doubt within yourself, which created your spirituality or your gifts to shut off. Okay, now I feel like right now this person know that uh, they have uh, rejected you, but you're not seeing the truth at hand, Virgo. You need to let go of the rose colored glasses that's going on into your life and, and, and stop waiting on somebody to get themselves better. Instead, take that leap of faith towards your freedom and towards new opportunities that's await for you. Now, I feel like some of y'all by fall, uh, you'll have things back together, but I feel like you're not listening. No, re rephrase that. You was not listening to your ancestors since the fall about a certain situation that you may have been dealing with, dealing with a union, dealing with you trying to build with somebody. However, now you got the awakening since you went through the avoidance and stalemate of a third party situation that this person had you once in. Now, at first, you didn't have the courage to change. Now, with the unexpected storms and you saw what was going on, you removed yourself from the repression. You removed yourself from uh, all the illusions that you've seen because the truth came out. And, and what triggers you no longer tr trigger you. You are no longer being in disharmony and you had to take a time out for yourself to unite with you instead of uh, anything else. Now, I feel like the cycle is not all the way completed because, Virgo, you got to understand you are activating your higher self, but you're not listening to your ancestors because you're walking in ego, maybe hoping this person gonna change maybe hoping this person gonna get themselves together it's just virgo you are doing a lot of work for the other person instead for yourself okay virgo now i also feel like right now the present what's what's going on in present life right now i uh, still i feel like you still sowing seeds like you ain't scared to sow the seeds that's out there virgo i feel like people yes they have belittled you they have betrayed you they have manipulated you they have done everything up under the sun but yet you still stand virgo you still with this chemistry you still going through the inner healing like some of you still want love some of y'all just want something that's just real and genuine and you don't care who the person is or how it is now be careful with that Virgo because sometimes when you get down to two vulnerability you will create you will bring something in that's not suitable for you okay now Virgo I also feel like right now you may be starting to let go of a situation and I feel like the choice that you make is starting to be better for you I feel like you start want to go into harmonious balance into the things that you need for yourself to grow okay now I feel like you are tired of being sad you are tired of feeling like you isolated you're tired of being alone but what that's doing is helping you understand that letting go is creating this cycle to turn for you. Now, I feel like you fixed whatever situation that you had to fix dealing with communication, dealing with your materials, or you working on it, dealing with even your uh, communication and dealing with love. I feel like right now, this uh, genuine leap of faith that you want to take, you cautious about these wheels turning because you've been in reoccurring cycles over and over and over into the unknown. But Spirit woman to tell you, you empathic enough and you know how to feel other people energy. So you have mastered the lesson of people around you, Virgo. You have also made a great decision and a great choice to allow these wheels turn by you getting the clarity that you need, okay? So we do got the Wheel of Fortune card clarified by the Judgment and the uh, Hermit card. So even though you are you went back in your hermit shell to make the right decision when it came to anybody trying to be manipulative, anybody trying to be show gossip, and or especially this person, and you had to go back in clarity to gra grab everything that you need in order to make this right decision. You felt like this person had somebody else. You can feel it. You can sense it. You can see it. But now you no longer put this person on a pedestal no more. Instead, you start to adapt to the situations. You you start to understand about how to get yourself out of a hardship, Virgo, and you started tapping your emotions more into yourself. And while you've done that, even though you, even though a, a tower moment has been created, but this tower moment was off of people doing third party situations. This was off of these people that was overindulging, having you on one side and overindulging and having a partner somewhere else. This is why the tower moment happened. Now, Virgo, I feel like you know this person irreliable, irresponsible. You don't put a lot of work in, but you are tired of the partnership failing and I feel like that's the problem even though it's been slow you still focusing on yourself healing instead of being self-absorbed dealing with people who can't express themselves the way in a true genuine way yes you are healing and you buckling down with yourself you're putting in the hard work however you still being hesitant about this mental frustration or this mental bondage that you have with this person it's not creating for you to turn around and be strong enough to overcome the internal fears and self you are panicking and being a genuine risk within yourself instead of uh, dealing with the demands that you need. Yes, you are walking in harmony with action, going towards independence, going towards your re um, your wish fulfillment, going towards your emotional stability. However, all the seeds you have sown, yes, 
you had to walk away from. You follow intuition and you was like, look, if it's not walking out, if it's not working out for me, I'd rather move on. And Virgo, soon you move forward. That's when this unfaithful person want to say, Virgo, I see your structure. I see your balance. I see your logic. I see your tradition. Virgo, I want to bring this new love off opportunity to you because yes, I have, I, I, I want to invest in you. Yes, it's, yes, I've done you wrong. Yes, I tried to win at all means necessary. I tried to win at any cost, but if it's going to take me losing my Virgo, I don't want to be sad over it. I'd rather be sad over losing my third party friends or I'd rather be sad than losing the people who really not beneficial for my life but more in an emotional fulfillment than me lose Virgo. Yes Virgo you was on top of game. Yes you manifested everything that was going on into my life and you was right Virgo. However they know with this toxicity that they have and these toxic ways they're not going to tell you the truth. They know it. They're saying it deep inside you but you would never know and this is what's creating you not to open up the way that you need to do in your life, Virgo, and it's creating warnings. You being optimistic about the delays and the warnings dealing with this type of individual, but you already know this person needs to apply a more into your life in order for you to grow. You are hanging on for things that is too long for uh that's been there for too long for you hoping and wishing that it's going to change and you need to go back and look at everything that you have went through in your life Virgo dealing with this numerous of times I feel like some of y'all don't been in these cycles before that creates no good starting points that creates no uh that makes you hold your energy in a negative way I feel like right now Virgo what's going on this greed somebody got greed and they want to hang on you like they want their cake and ice cream too but what it does to you it keep ranking reoccurring past events that you know that you had to close off it's, it's something about the way how they try to control you, Virgo, you don't like. They may be trying to control your finances, however, or you may be giving a lot of energy and helping them ground and be more prosperous and than you. So I feel like your energy around this person help them grow and get what they need to be. But I feel like in rapid force of you letting go, Virgo, the choices that you are making, you are no longer get, letting your attitude get in the way and or conflict the energy on what you need to take care of. Now, I also feel like, yeah, it's a new reunion coming in for you, Virgo, or a new type of battle. But honestly, when it comes to all this conflicting energy and all this chaos, all this fighting back and forth, Virgo, I feel like you're done with it. I feel like you're tired of being offensive. you rather go for something bigger and better into your life. So I feel like that's why majority of you letting go. Some of you are starting to look out and make plans because you know this person with that third party situation has put you in a stagnate and you rather be happy than anything else. So I feel like right now you being more empathic to look out and make plans towards your happiness either uh, and accept the things that it is with this person, okay? Now, with that basically being said, Virgo, if you want a personal reading, it will be in the description box below. But I also, I'm trying to figure out, let's pull out some love, some love cards real quick. Virgo, I feel like right now, uh, getting to know each other, uh, that's not happening. So I feel like it was in reverse. So I feel like this person is not trying to get to know you. Uh, you do not have the chance to uh, reveal your inner self to make the bond deepen. Love yourself first. Spirit trying to say you come before anything. And I feel like right now when it came to that situation, you were putting all your energy in everything else. But Virgo, Spirit want me to tell you divine timing is a work in your life. They didn't know you was the right one. So I feel like now they know you worth waiting for. But how However, I feel like it's no reconciliation or you don't want to. It can be there, but I feel like you're not going to go for the shenanigans, Virgo, okay? So with that basically being said, where is my manifestation deck? All right, hold on, Virgo. Let's go ahead and get ready to close this out. So if you want a personal reader, look in the description box below. It will be there for you, Virgo. And I just want to say, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Let's go ahead. Now, what I will be doing. Now, Virgo, if you're dealing with any other sign, make sure you check out them readings with them elementals, okay? Because even though it's about them, it can be about you as well, okay, Virgo? So let's go ahead and pull out three. I eat foods that nourish my body and give me energy. I eat foods that nourish my body and give me energy. I say, I say, this is for your health and well-being. Now, the other one is I am open to new opportunities to express my skills and passions in the world. I say, I say, I say. Now, let's go ahead and pull out another one. I am looked after by my spirit guides and loved ones who have passed over. I say, I say, I say. And let's pull out one more. I receive money every day. I receive money 
every day. I say, I say, I say. Now, Virgo, that is your reading. Now, if somebody's still being unfaithful to you, you know what you need to do. If you got the evidence that you need, hell, just do what you do what's needed best for you. Some people change, you know. Some some of y'all gonna try to work it out with the person, even though, but you got the clarity and what you need in order to move past what you need to do. Now, after that, that's on you. You on your own. I'm just giving a blueprint and the information that you need in order to grow. Now, with that basically being said, peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. I love you, God love you, the universe love you. Make sure you love who? Yourself. That's the most important thing on the channel. Now, till I see y'all beautiful souls till the next time, make sure y'all check in about them elementals because it still can be a good one and I will be live with those, okay? So, peace, love, and light, light, love, and peace. I say, I say, I man. Till I see y'all till the next time. Yep. Yeah.